Hello and welcome to my third Blender tutorial. In this tutorial I will teach you the basics of cube modeling. Uh, cube modeling is when you model something and you base it off a cube. I'll show you what I mean by that in a few seconds. So, first of all, uh, press 1 on your uh, numpad key to go to the front view and press tab to go into edit mode of your cube and also press 5 for orthographic perspective view so we can actually see <coughs> things more precisely now what you wanna do is split the cube into halves so in order to do that we will use the edge loop cut tool by pressing control R and whenever you point the cursor next to an edge you see this pink this pink line appear it will basically do a transversal cut around that edge loop so if I click now it does the cut and I can also move the vertices around but I want them to be dead on the center so I will undo this by pressing Ctrl Z now press Ctrl R, R again and double click here on the middle and there you have it it's a perfect middle split now I press Z to go into, ver uh, into wireframe view so I can also select the vertices from behind and by pressing B you can get this um, selection rectangle and select those the four vertices on the right side and press X and remove them. So now if I press Z again to go in sh and, uh, shaded view you see that I have um, half of a cube here and now if I go in the right to the modifiers over here and I'll add the mirror modifier. What the mirror modifier does is takes everything on one side and mirrors on the other side on in our case the x-axis which is that one. If I would disable the x-axis it would do no mirroring. You can also do on the y-axis but you can't see it because the object is already symmetrical by the y-axis and so goes for the z-axis. So also we want to activate clipping. Uh, let me show you a second. So, without clipping, I can move, I can separate the two halves. And I don't really want this right now. So, let's undo this and activate clipping. And now you can see that I cannot actually separate the two halves. So, this is the basic for cube modeling. Uh, the advantages of cube modeling is that you only have uh, uh, and not just cube modeling in general any modeling that uses uh, the mirror modifier you only have to model one half of the object and you can start with a cube but you can start with any other shape really so let's do some other cuts so you press ctrl r, r at the edge here uh, sorry about that. Let's do this again. Uh, by the way, Control Z for undo if you do not know that already. Double click and also if you use your sc uh, scroll wheel on the mouse, you can actually select how many cuts you want. And I'll do two cuts here. Yes, this should be fine. Now, let's try to shape this somewhere closer to a head. So, by selecting a vertex, you press the G key to grab it around. You remember that from the last tutorial, I hope. Let's see. Also, another thing here in the modifier, if you click this triangle here, you can actually make the other side of the object also be made of vertices. 
and when you select the right side you're still gonna select the left side but it allows you to select vertices more easily so let's try to give it a better shape also go in wireframe to view everything much better something like this let's give it a head like shape now let's get this closer give it more of a head like shape doesn't really have to be a perfect head no, this looks weird. Yes, we need to move it. Let's see. Now yeah, it's starting to look somewhat better. So the behind. Yes. Uh, also, be careful when you select something from the right side, from the mirror side. You're actually still manipula manipulating the left side vertex. So, when you select this on the right side, you're not actually gonna move the right one. You're moving. You're still moving the left one. So, that could create a bit of confusion. And let's move this somewhat backwards now this looks somewhat closer to a face although it's not perfect I'm not gonna take the time necessary to create the perfect face and from here now I press control tab to go into face select mode and I select these two faces, which are actually four because it's mirrored. And I'm going to extrude a sort of a neck. And by press control tab again, I can go into vertex and I'll select this middle vertex here and remove it. We don't really need it. And here you basically have the basics of a head shape but doesn't necessarily have to be a human head as you see it looks far from human looks quite horrible well can say I'm the best modeler out there and uh, you can add you can add on to this you can add a body through multiple extrusions you can uh, for example you can make this um, so you press the E key and you extrude again. You can make something that looks kind of like a mask, say a, a gas mask. So this looks pretty blocky. And if you want it to look somewhat better, you're still in the modifier tab. You can add the subdivision surface modifier. And if you set it to smooth shading, it looks somewhat more organic. You can also increase the level of subdivisions and I guess from here you can build on more stuff. For example, if you wanna do holes for eyes. Now, first of all, you wanna deactivate clipping for a second so you can actually separate these two faces when you extrude them. Now, so I press E and click uh, Let's do that again. Select the face, I press E, but I don't move it out or inward. I just click and press S and scale it down. Now I activate clipping again. Not so I don't forget it like that. And I can extrude it inward. And there you have it, you have eye holes. And from here you can build on and get creative. Hope I hope this tutorial has helped you. 
and um, yeah I'll uh, see you later with uh, another tutorial